So first I have to say I agree with whomever said um, that the term personalized learning doesn't really make sense because really all learning is personal. <laughs> So I tend not to use the term personalized learning, I tend to use the term personalized instruction. So, so I think a personalized instruction is trying to imagine the, the, the greatest amount of ways that you can customize a curriculum to the abilities and the interests of an individual student. The dream is that technology can personalize learning for masses of people, but I don't believe that that is the case. I think that technology can offer us tools that in thoughtful, well-designed environments in the hands of capable teachers, we can do more to help students have a more customized pathway through the curriculum. I would define personalized learning as, as learning that excites the student and puts the student first. It's not just all about reading the text and listening to the lecture. It, it's not enough to do that. You want the student to, to reach for more. Um, you want to excite him or her to, to go home and, and go on the internet and search for more information about uh, you know, X, Y, and Z. That to me is personalized learning. Personalized learning as learning that promotes or encourages both students and faculty to really own and express their agency, mm -hmm. to have more control and be more engaged in the decision-making processes. The early part of the 20th century was based on industrial scaling of learning, where we grew the number of people in K-12, and then we grew the number of people in higher education a great amount. And we did this on industrial tools. We have mass production of curricula, mass production of textbooks, mass production of teachers and the pedagogy. And so in many ways now we're thinking, all right, we're, we're in a post-industrial economy. Economy. We have to think about how we can actually fine-tune our production, if you will. And one of the ways is actually paying attention to individual learners, to their knowledge, to their abilities, to their course through life. And that's what personalized learning is, really focusing on the entire enterprise of education on the individual differences between individual learners. It can happen on the academic affairs side as well as the student affairs side. But it's really first identifying what the student needs. It could be academically, it could be in support services, and then being able to provide those kind of key interventions or outreach to that student. We learn differently, we think differently, we have different types of intelligence, analytical intelligence, emotional intelligence, tactile intelligence, spatial intelligence, um, verbal intelligence, the list goes on. Once you understand that, the notion of robotically placing everyone through a narrow a bottleneck of learning, you must learn this. Yeah, you, there are certain things you've got to know, but how you learn them uh, needs to be personalized and individualized around the way that you learn. Now, in certain subjects, we found through adaptive learning platforms that we can change math outcomes, physics outcomes, chemistry outcomes, economics outcomes. And so we have become very, very focused now on trying to create as many opportunities for the individualization of learning as possible. What it means to me is really finding a way to take uh, to take higher education and really tailor it to the learner. For a very long time, uh, we've really had, higher education has been something that uh, it's from, for the masses. It's a situation where we have a particular learning experience, but we have to have it for everyone, a large classroom, and so you give the same lecture to everybody. Personalized learning means that we can really tailor that learning experience to each individual learner. That's pretty exciting. Thank you.